What I wanted to point out is that this is very different than oil and gas. So people like Mike will be out, you know, looking for these deposits. And like he was explaining, you know, he's got to go out and basically do kind of a initial fee, uh, feasibility on it and garner interest and show the things that the investors and the people back at the company would want to go and deploy more capital to drill. Now, here becomes the distinct difference in oil. And so Mike would go out and drill these core holes that would be very descriptive and show us what the rock was and show us where potential ore is, right? But the problem is, is that those are sunk costs that do not turn into your actual production, basically scientific and engineering data that then goes into a document. If I'm not mistaken, Mike, still called the 43101, which is part of the, you know, I don't know if that is still well, so there. Are, well, 43101 is a standard industry term for a independent certified analysis by an expert of a project on okay. uh, for Canadian stock exchange rules is a 43101. Okay. Here in the US, we finally rewritten our codes to, uh, to address mineral exploration fully in the U.S. on U.S. exchange, it's called SK-1300. Okay. Um, it still doesn't necessarily lend itself well to exploration. The U.S. markets just don't lend themselves to exploration it's because hmm, in terms of stringent rules on uh, okay. announcements, because it would really hinder forward projections in the tech sector and oil and gas. Sure. Um, and okay. it enabled, you know, numerous kind of frauds to be perpetrated on U.S. markets by mining exploration companies even as recently as, you know, the five, 90s, ten years right? ago. 